Have you ever been ghosted? These days it's called ghosting. When someone says they will call you back and they don't ever do it, you don't ever hear from them again, you don't know what happened. <sighs> For some, answers to why people ghost and ways to avoid getting ghosted. Well, we have an expert here to speak to that. We welcome back Tracy Hooper of The Confidence Project. Tracy, welcome back. Thank you. Happy to be here. So I know you must have stories about people being ghosted we've or ghosting. All, yeah. Well, we've all been ghosted. Uh, I had a meeting with the uh, general manager of a, the Portland office of a Fortune 500 company mm -hmm. who was very excited about bringing The Confidence Project to his team. Team, so much so that he brought his uh, director of human resources in to meet me and we talked about it they gave me a tour of the office and it was great when can we get started and I said when would you like me to let you know and they said you know let us know next week mm -hmm. great so I emailed them and the subject line was uh, checking in okay didn't hear anything I waited a week subject line uh, checking back okay no Nothing, nothing. It was nothing incredible. The third time I emailed them, the third week, mm -hmm. I said, at your request, because they had asked me to email them. Right. And I never heard from them, and I thought, I've been ghosted. Get out of here. They wanted me to come, and it never went anywhere. And that was almost a year ago. And you still haven't heard a still thing? Still haven't heard anything. I emailed them a month later. Sure. And they never heard anything. And this happens all the time. Mm -hmm. I talk to people all the time. And there are reasons why this happens. Please break it down, Tracy, because number one, I mean, I just think it's rude. They go through all of that and then don't contact you back when they said they wanted to hear from you? That's correct. It's infuriating. Yeah. Three things are happening. I mean, lots of things are happening, but this is what I really notice. Number one, people are inundated with information. Mm. So on average, people get professionals 304 emails a week, according to Atlassian, which is a software development company. That's a lot of emails. How many mm -hmm. do you get on average? Oh, man, between which email addresses? That's right. I have a ton. That's right. So that's one thing. So we're inundated with information. Mm -hmm. We are interrupted all the time, texts and tweets and emails and phone calls and so forth. How many times in an hour do you think you touch your smartphone? <laughs> oh, on average, probably at least 10, and I don't even want to admit it. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And so uh, there are all kinds of numbers out there. Every six minutes, people touch their smartphone. Uh, they talk on their phone 36 times an hour or check their phones. According to an article in Time magazine, Americans touch their smartphones 8 billion times a day. What? So someone might be responding to you by an email, but then they get interrupted, and then, and then they don't get it. back to you, and then you're ghosted inadvertently. So we're not supposed to take this personal, Trace? No, we're not supposed to take this personally. I do think we need to be persistent, mm -hmm. but I think the most important thing, and I'll talk about that in a moment, the, the other thing is I think that people want to avoid um, conflict. So they don't want to come to your meeting, but they don't want to let you know. They don't want to come, they don't want to give to your cause, but they don't want to let you know. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hire you, but they don't want to let you know. So they ghost you. They just don't respond. Passive aggressive. Yes, indeed. I don't like that. But there's a Can solution. You tell? Okay. So what's the answer? Well, I think the first thing is to be brief. Okay. Be brief in your emails. Be brief in your voicemails. The second thing is to have a stellar subject line. So the subject line would say something like, thought of you. Hmm. You know, when you say that in a subject line, there's a pretty good chance that somebody will respond to that. I thought of you when I read an article in the New York Times about X. Or you could also say, at the suggestion of Nick Taylor. So that might be a mutual friend or a mutual contact. That would get someone to open up the email. They may not respond, hmm. but at least you'll get them to open it up. Okay, okay. The third thing that's important, I think, is to be a role model. You know, civility begets civility. So everyone has influence. So if someone gets an email from you that you respond to, mm -hmm. then they will respond in kind. They, you have really honored them with a reply, and then they will pay it forward. Oh, I see. Okay. Here's an example. I'm writing a leadership book for professional women about confidence. Mm -hmm. So what rattles your confidence, and how do you? what are the strategies you use to get it back? And I really wanted to interview Hannah Storm, okay. who's with ESPN. Yes, She's really a... Her 
fabulous gal and really a pioneer for women sportscasters mm -hmm. around the world. So I emailed her about, the, our, we knew each other very slightly as children, our mothers are still friends. I sent her an email with the subject line, childhood friend Tracy Bagley Hooper. Oh. So that got her, you know, her interest. She emailed me back the next day and this is what she said, dear Tracy, Thanks so much for asking to interview me. Sadly, I have to decline because good luck with your book, Hannah. So even though it wasn't the answer that I wanted, at least I got an answer. Right. You did, she didn't ghost you. She didn't ghost me. <laughs> I think that is fascinating, though, that people really do that in, as, as a way to avoid contacting you. I know I get the distraction piece, and everybody gets that. But at the end of the day, Tracy, really, it really gets under my skin. It's the truth. Urgh. Here's one more thing, though. Okay, this real is really quick. a great one. So I always say give people an out and a deadline. So I got an invitation to an event that I didn't want to attend but it was such a short invitation that I read the last line which said I hope you will join me yes and no are both good answers that was my out yeah and then okay. she said kindly RSVP by March the 20th at 5 p.m. so I emailed her right away thank you for inviting me I can't come good luck with your event very nice so nice gets nice if you're nice it comes back to you it does I really hope you're right I hope people don't get ghosted I think it's so <laughs> rude thank you so much Tracy you're welcome. Welcome. Really appreciate it. And we're going to have more information about Tracy and a free newsletter to her confidence project on our website at katu.com. All right, now it's time to check in with Deb Knapp in the news studio to tell us what we can expect today on K2 News at 4. Hey there, Deb.